All right, Andrew Selisco, welcome to the program, mate. How are you? Doing well. Thanks for having me. And what's going on, man? You just got back from the, the first session. What did you swim today? Yeah, just finished up day one of our second match. So I swam the 2 IM, 100 free on the 4x1 free relay, and then I set a fly split on the medley relay at the end. Very nice, man. Very nice. Kind of Mr. Versatile, stick you anywhere, right? Yeah. For better you, or for worse, yeah. Got a lot of events going on. Do you get a say in that? Do you, you know, you can pretty much swim anything. Do you say, hey, I'm feeling this today or I'd love to be here? Like, what kind of say do you get in your lineup? Yeah, definitely. Uh, one thing I love about our team is we got, I have a pretty close relationship with uh, Coach Marsh and then Jack Roach, who's the assistant coach. Mm -hmm. So uh, we usually have a back and forth a few days before and then they give us the lineup you know, 12 hours ahead of the meet. So I kind of figured out uh, right before I swim and I have some input, but at the end of the day, I think I'll kind of always be that guy that's in whatever events the team needs to fill in. Now, I got to work with you a little bit last year and got to, got to watch you um, and how you go about your business. You're an interesting character because um, you, you come off as pretty mild mannered and, and quiet, but there's a, uh, there's a raging inferno inside of you, man. You're a competitor, man. Like, where? How, how do you bottle that up, and how does it come out? Yeah, uh, I definitely think I'm better at it now than when I was younger. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like sometimes I come off as, like, shy or quiet. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we get in the pool or we get to the weight room or we're in a race, you know, that's when it comes out, and I feel like I can kind of go crazy. Um, but yeah, I've learned to sort of isolate that to something that's actually competitive as opposed to just being, you know, bouncing off the walls 24 seven, which is fun. But, uh, yeah, as I get older, I feel like I'm able to kind of direct that intensity in different ways. I find you difficult to, um, read, you know, I, I'm not Dave Durden, so I don't spend all day every day with you, but you know, you're difficult to read because you do kind of keep your emotions close to your chest. How does, how does Dave get the best out of you? How does he know when, when you're on or when you're off or when you need something, you know, when you need a few words or when it's time to back off, how does he figure that out? Yeah. Dave is, uh, he's really good at sort of knowing what's best before, you know, like he's always like a step ahead. I feel like in training or in meat prep or just on like a daily basis. So I don't know. I've talked to him a few times about it. He's kind of the guy that's going to be with the mindset of if it ain't broke, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it, you know, like he's not going to, especially as a pro, he's not going to be, you know, kind of looking over my shoulder with everything I do. He's going to instruct me. And then if I need something from him, I can kind of go to him for that and he'll have good advice. Um, but yeah, Dave's an interesting guy. He's also someone that I feel like is hard to read and mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure that out myself. <laughs> a few more years, man, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how do you get the best out of yourself? Like how, how do you, you know, when you wake up on race day and you've got, you've got a program, I mean, every day you've got a program, you've got three, three, three events generally. So how are you spacing out your energy and your, and your mentality throughout the day? Yeah, I think, especially when it comes to race days and then in a format like the ISL where we race so often, mm -hmm. it, having a very set routine is really important for me um, because you know, with training or with weights or with whatever, there's always different states of preparedness you can have going into a meet. Some days I feel great. Some days I feel tired. But if I have that routine that evens it out, I can sort of tick the boxes off hours, days, you know, right up till I, I race, knowing I've done the same warm up or a similar warm up um, can kind of put me in the best position each time to always swim my best. Um, so yeah, I think for race days, routine is really important. And then uh, outside of that, like, I do think this sport is like 97% mental, where if you're in a great state of mind, or you're kind of happy with where your life's at, that's going to be reflected into your performance. And uh, I know you've had Jack Roach on the show, but he's kind of like the guru of all things, uh, you know, mental training. He's been giving us some great speeches uh, before race days here in Bud Budapest. And, you know, I kind of just go by his advice and, and try and wake up each day knowing, you know, I'm a step closer to my goal rather than a step further away. 
What about when you're just about to go into a race, let's say a, a 200 IM or a 400 free, 400 IM, you know, you got some swimming to do and you're not feeling it. How do you get the best out of yourself? How do you, how do you lift yourself? Yeah. Um, it depends really. I think I do a good job of going by feel in a lot of things I do. Swimming can get so technical where it's, you know, I'm going to take six strokes, then six strokes, and then this number of kicks, all that. For me, it's important to have that, you know, specificity in my races. But, mm. you know, when I'm in the moment, I want to just be in the moment, whether that's like the ready room or behind the blocks. Uh, I just go by feel. So for me, it's always a game of am I trying to elevate my amount of energy? You know, am I tired? Do I need to get psyched up, get going, kind of use my teammates for inspiration? Or am I really firing? Am I really amped to race? Do I need to kind of calm it down um, to get to that, what I think is like the optimal race energy? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I feel like the first two meets here, I've kind of had to psych myself up just to get back in racing. I mean, this is the first opportunity I've had with, you know, a real meat atmosphere since last March when we were in Des Moines. Um, so I've had to psych myself up a little bit. I'm hoping I can get to the point where I'm, you know, dialed into that race mode and I can kind of just let it flow and not have to worry about, you know, the everything going on around me before I swim. Yeah. Well, what's been your race preparation coming into this? Are you in full training, uh, looking to rest for if you guys make the, the final or are you, are you going to train all the way through it? What's your mental preparation for this or physical as well? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm really psyched with where we're at training wise. I think Cal has been really fortunate the past few months to have good access to training and weight room facilities and having all of our teammates in Berkeley working. So uh, we've definitely had some great swimming and some good weights. And so now that we're here, we're kind of, Dave Marsh talked about it as like a race camp. Like we're using this as, I, I'm thinking of it as like a full NC2A dual meet season compacted into five weeks or whatever, where I am going to try and stick to my plan and then improve each week with the meets that we have so mm. um i'm still working with dirt and trying to figure out you know if i'm gonna shave at the end or if i'm gonna kind of push through I'm, I'm hoping i can get some good swims at the end of this uh season but the biggest thing for me is i want to see improvements each week not necessarily you know splits or times but i want to see improvements in the way that i'm going into the race the way that i'm moving through turns the way that i'm finishing races Awesome, man. I appreciate that. What's your, um, you know, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? You know, I guess, I guess when we all look in the mirror, we see limitations on ourselves. Do you, do you see limitations? Like, how do you, how do you view yourself? I don't know. That's a, this seems pretty philosophical. Um, it is, it is very philosophical. Yeah, no, I think I definitely don't see limitations. I think I see, potential and I, I know in my mind I have like a clear image of what I'm trying to accomplish in my swimming career so every day I feel like I can make a list or I can have a plan to get closer to those goals in a way where I'm kind of growing as a person and as a swimmer I think a trap that can happen to a lot of people is like prioritizing swimming too much over anything else and I'm happy with the way that I moved through college I feel like I had an equal priority on my education and on my social life and on my swimming career. And so now that I'm, you know, professional swimmer, I feel like I can really just keep dialing into that swimming aspect of my life and, you know, just build it each day. Um, but yeah, looking in the mirror, I don't know. I'm, I'm 24. I feel like, you know, my life's in my own hands. So I'm kind of just trying to make the most of it. Now, I love that answer. It was, it was a really good answer to a tough question. And the reason why I ask it is because I don't think it's any secret that you're not, you're not the tallest guy out there, right? And so as, as people around you would, would probably put limitations on you saying, well, you're not big enough, you're not tall enough, you're not, you know, when I look at you in the water, I see a guy technically that's incredibly uh, sound, you know, I wouldn't say perfect, but really close to perfection in terms of what you do technically. But then I also see this person that swims 
two feet taller than what they really are. I mean, you swim like you're eight feet tall. You swim big, you know? So it's, it's a physical thing that you're doing technically, but it's also this mental, emotional component that I think that the, the way you view yourself is you view yourself as a really big man, like, it, and, it, and it, expre <laughs> it expresses itself in the water. Yeah. You know, when I watch you swim, yeah. I'm like, that dude's 10 feet tall. You know what I mean? Yeah, I wish. No, I, de I definitely agree with that. Um, honestly, the way I see it is like, no matter who you are, like, you're going to have excuses. You know, like, I think I could play the excuse like, oh, I'm not six foot five or whatever. I don't weigh 220 or whatever. But, you know, I just swam at 2 a.m. against Hagino. That dude's, you know, four or five inches shorter than me and he kicked my butt. So, Anytime I feel like there's an excuse in my mind, I can think of another athlete who is in a different position who's, you know, ahead of me right now. I think it's a dangerous game to try and show up to a competition with excuses. Um, not that I've never done that, but it's always kind of a, a game I play where I can, you know, think of everything as a level playing field because at the end of the day, it really is. The sport is is so competitive and so like individual at times that um, it really is a level playing field with you get in what you put in, you know what I mean? Or you yeah. get out what you put in, like yeah. you're not going to, you know, put in no work and get incredible results and vice versa. Yeah. Well, just in your words as well, it's 97% mental. You said that. And so the way that you view yourself, yeah. when you walk onto a pool deck, you're like, we're all equal here. There's no, you know, yeah. no one's better than me in any respect. In fact, I work so hard that I'm probably better than everybody else because of my work ethic, you know, and I get that sense from you, you know, you put the work in, there's no doubt about that. So, I mean, look, I'm a fan, man. It's super impressive to watch you work and watch you swim and watch you compete. If, uh, if it came down to a last 50 or a last 25, where there was three guys in a line and, and I had to put my last hundred dollars on it, man, I'm putting my money on you. Like you you fight to the wall. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you're a yeah, good teammate, man, for sure. I appreciate it. We definitely miss you out here this year. Yeah, no, man, I, I love it. I love, I'm, I'm living vicariously through you guys. So just to be able to talk to you, man, it's awesome. But, um, some good swimming ahead. Are you going to get a crack at the skins? They're going to put you in that. Uh, honestly, they probably shouldn't. I mean, the way Murph's been swimming, he's going <laughs> to jackpot that thing every time. But, uh, <laughs> no, if they true. ever come out with like a hundred IM skins, I'm all for that. Yeah, there we go. That's it. <laughs> Knock it out. Now, are they doing 100 IM at this meet? Yeah, I swam it last week. Uh, not sure about tomorrow's lineup, but it's on the second day of each meet. When are they? When do they announce the lineup to you guys? Well, for the second day. It depends. Honestly, our coaches are they're super competitive. They're like you know trying to fine tune it uh, till the last second. So we'll probably have a team meeting later tonight. We'll we'll get it. Uh, if not, it'll be early tomorrow morning. Cool. Well, listen, like I said, man, I'm a huge fan. You're a fierce competitor. I love it. I wish there was uh, hundreds more like you. You're just an animal. I love watching your race. So uh, appreciate your time, man. Get some rest and uh, good luck tomorrow, all right? Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Sally. Take care, man. Take care. Hey, Marcella Cherigini. What's up, man? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. Just enjoying a little bit of ISL here. Swimming for the Aqua Centurions this year, huh? Yeah, yeah. So we have, uh, we have a lot of Brazilians, you know, on the team. Uh, my coach, Albertinho, is on the team. Just, it just makes it easier, you know, with, the, with practice and uh, traveling together. So I chose to go with them, and uh, I've been enjoying it a lot. Wow. Now, who's the head coach of the team? It's uh, Mateo. Oh, okay. He coaches oh, yeah. uh, Federica Pellegrini, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. A great coach. Excellent. What, what's the what's the situation with Pellegrini? Is she, is she coming to join the team or not? 
Um, no, I'm not sure. She got tested uh, positive, right, for for COVID, and uh, I'm not really sure if she's gonna join. Since actually, uh, we we might not go to the semifinals after this match if we don't, you know, get better. So we might not end up going to the semifinals. So I'm not sure if she's gonna come or not. Okay, well, listen, today you had a, a great swim. You're just back from the first session of your of your first day. Congratulations on the relay win, man. Great swim. Thank you, thank you. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with the, with the relay, and uh, I feel like I, I never really had a uh, great short course meters, you know, competition in my career. Mm -hmm. uh, well, my very first in international meet was short course meters, but, you know, I was super young and didn't have any experience. So I feel like, you know, I had great long course meters, uh, meets, uh, yards, you know, at Auburn. And uh, so I feel like this being a really, really good meet for me, you know, so I'm, I'm very happy. Are you fully prepared? Like, have you been, are you fully rested and shaved? Or where are you at in, in your preparation for this? We are uh, actually full rested and, and tapered, uh, shaved, but, you know, with all this, this virus situation, you know, in Brazil, we were able to train almost, I would say, 90%. You know, we had some restriction with uh, with the time in the pool. Uh, we didn't, we weren't allowed to, you know, lift only 50 minutes, you know, per session. So we needed to rush it. Uh, in the water was was limited as well. So the the, the main goal was, you know, to come and race 100% here. So we did a pretty good job considering the whole situation here but yeah we are full taper and shave and everything for this meet nice man nice now what's your fastest time short course meters on the 100 freestyle uh flat start is 46 6 i just i let off last match the four by one mix oh. uh really 46 6 you know it's it's a, it's a decent time you know like i said i i never really hit the 100 free flat star in my career, you know, I'm, you know, I, I should swim maybe a little faster than that. I think I can, I'm, I have the ability to swim a little faster than that, but 46, six is my best time. What are you trying to do this season as a, you know, last season was the first season. It was new. It was different. What do you think you can do differently this time to make it more exciting, more appealing, more enjoyable for, for yourself, for the viewers? Uh, like you said, last year was something completely new. You know, I feel like I wasn't 100% physically and mentally, actually, because last year we had world championships, we had Pan Ams back to back. So I was really drained emotionally, you know, mm. get back to racing at high level again. I was like, almost like, man, it's, it's, a, it's a lot, you know, it's a lot to keep racing at high level. And I was physically, you know, I was okay, you know. So when I finished last season, I was like, man, you know, I really wanted to 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 race better next season. I wanted to get with those top guys. So I, I came to this meet more mentally and physically more prepared. So I was like, man, I really want to be with those guys, the best guys, you know. You know, I, I'm interested in this, you know. Individual wins are important for your team, but are you shooting for individual wins for you personally? Like I know when you go to the world championships or Olympics, you want to be the champion of the world, right? You want to be the fastest person. Yeah. Are you, do you do you have the same goals with the ISL? Do you want to be the hundred champion when you race? Well, it's it's um, I think it's a little bit of both. Since this season we have the jackpot, where if you swim, you know, much faster than everybody, you steal mm -hmm. all the points. So I feel like this is is a lot of more. You, you really have to choose, you know, who you're going to put. Maybe not the fastest guy in mm -hmm. that specifically event. We have to really choose if one guy is going to be good in, that, in some event, but he'll be exhausted for the next one. Maybe it's not the best option. So I feel it's a little bit of both, you know. You want to, you know, swim a really good individual race, you know, get your best time or close your best time. And you want to help help out the team with all the points. So it's 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 a little bit more complicated this season, you know. What about you personally? Do you do you want to win the hundred freestyle when you step up? Like, do you want to beat your competitors? No, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Like I'm, this, like I said, this isn't. I'm, I'm already, I already improved from you know, uh, last match to this match, you know, and I'm, 
really getting into those, those 100 free short course meters because there's a, a lot of details, you know? And, you know, if you miss a turn or a little bit, so I'm really wanted to get better, you know, each, each, each match. And, uh, but like I said, we have so many 100 freestylers on this team and I hadn't had the chance to swim the 100 free individually, you know, yeah. the event. I let out the relay and uh, I've been in the middle of the relay and uh, we're going to have a meeting tonight to see who's going to swim the 100 free tomorrow but absolutely i'm i'm really i really wanted to have a great 100 free and compete against those top guys do you think you can be the fastest guy in the competition like do you do you see yourself as the fastest 100 freestyle or do you see yourself as one of the guys that can that can win on any particular day uh i feel like uh there are, there are a lot of crazy fast guys uh zach he's been swimming crazy fast obviously Caleb. Um, and like I said, I feel like I'm getting better each time I swim the 100. And I feel like I can have a really good 100 if I hit it, you know, if I, everything goes right. Everything goes as planned in my head. And I think I can have a shot to, you know, be right there with those guys. Yeah, but Zach, come on, man. Zach's your former teammate. You know you can beat him whenever <laughs> you want, right? <laughs> Isn't that the way yeah, it used to go I in know, practice, I, right? <laughs> I remember, uh, I remember when Zach first went 49 long course. I was, it was a meeting at Auburn. And I remember uh, trying to, you know, help him out with, on the way out, you know. Mm. Crazy how much he improved. Crazy, man. He's, he's a great athlete. And, but he's swimming really fast, you know, really fast. Yeah, he is swimming fast, man. He's, he's crazy <laughs> fast right now. It's awesome to see. Crazy you know? fast. And, he's, and he's, been, he's been going out super fast and, you know, coming back home super fast. And, Hey, it's awesome to see. I remember him in practice, you know, getting better each day, really, you know, uh, work really hard. And it's crazy to see how fast he's, he's swimming right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, you've been there a number of years, man. You've been there in Olympic finals, world champ finals. Are you looking at 21 as your last uh, Olympics or are you looking towards Paris and, and even LA, maybe beyond that? Uh, actually, um, I'm not really sure... Well, physically, I, I'm, I'm feeling great, you know. I'm 29 years old, and I'm feeling, honestly, best shape of my life right now, you know. Mm -hmm. I thought that maybe, okay, 25, everybody said, okay, 25, you're going to feel amazing, and after that, it's only down here. But I'm feeling great, you know, physically. Uh, mentally, I'm enjoying swimming a lot. You know, those meets are fun, you know. I, they're actually fun to, to come mm -hmm. here and race. And the priority right now is Olympics next year. And... Uh, Let's see, you know, how everything goes. But with all those new meets coming up, you know, I can, I feel like I, I can keep on going for more years, you know? Awesome, man. Yeah, I believe so too. I mean, you're an incredible athlete. What about your abs? How are they looking right now? The abs are good? <laughs> They're good. They look <laughs> you don't want to show, you don't want to show us on camera, man? Come on. A little bit, a little bit of abs. No, 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 no. <laughs> Biceps, anything. Um, now listen, are you guys going to win? Yeah, there we go. A little bicep. Now you, um. <laughs> You're going to win this meet today, uh, tomorrow. You, you know, you guys are what third right now. I think it's uh, LA currents in the, in the lead a little bit. And then you got the, the frogs, the, the Tokyo frogs. And then I think you guys are third, right? No, we are fourth actually. Oh, oh you're fourth. Okay. All right. So it's going to be tough to, to yeah. win the meet. Can you, can you creep up past third or maybe even second? Man, that's, that's the goal. It's this, this means, uh, this, match is good it's been really difficult you know the tokyo team is swimming really fast yeah. uh the toronto team crazy fast too so it's a tough one obviously we're going to give our best but it's, it's a tough one you know yeah well listen man you got that 100 freestyle tomorrow all right let's get a win all right well i'm not sure if i'm swimming we're gonna have the mini but let's see uh i'll be very excited to swim the 100 very excited you better swim it man come on who do I have to talk to to get you in that race? I want to see you in that race. <laughs> Let's get it, man. All right. Uh, listen, I want to have you uh, on the podcast for a full episode later. So um, thanks for talking to me today, yeah. man. Get some rest. Get that team fired up, man, and uh, see some emotion tomorrow, right? Yeah, absolutely, Brad. Thanks for having me, man. See you, buddy. Love you, man. Take care. See you. Love Bye. you, too.